The hacker group Anonymous is already making good on its promise to disrupt the games. Last weekend alone, at least 100 websites belonging to Olympic sponsors were shut down and denied service. Some of the attacked sites included Coca-Cola, BT, British Airways, GlaxoSmithKline, Freshfields, and eight Freemason sites, including the oldest Grand Lodge in the world, and some banks. When a particular site goes down, it reads, a gift from Anonymous. A street art movement called Brandalism popped up in the UK last week. The Brandalism project aims to challenge the authority and legitimacy of the advertising industry with 50 different pieces installed on reclaimed billboards. 37 billboards were reclaimed across Leeds, Manchester, Birmingham, Bristol, and London in the days leading up to the Olympics. The project is a collaboration between 25 artists from eight different countries and a variety of artistic backgrounds. The Brandalists installed and documented their work over the course of a five-day road trip across England. The latest installation criticizes the handling of the 2012 London Olympics. A billboard in East London's Bethnal Green features police officers in formation with the Olympics tagline, Inspire a Generation. The artwork also displays the official protester logo, which was created by the group Space Hijackers. The art takes aim at the use of so-called brand police to protect corporate interests during the Olympics. One of the installers of the piece, Charlie Dempton, said, quote, the absurd use of brand police to protect corporate interests, the eviction of residents from their homes, the rounding up of graffiti artists with no legal basis. These are some of the Olympic legacies of London 2012, end quote. London police are restricting public expression and the use of images and words associated with the London 2012 Olympics. They want to make sure that McDonald's, Coca-Cola, and other brands shelling out millions of dollars for Olympic ad space are the only ones who profit from the games. The Brandalism Project is one of the largest subvertising campaigns ever executed, and it has received a lot of attention from the international press, of course. The act of transforming a corporate advertisement with an anti-consumerist message is not a new idea. Robert Montgomery is a Scottish artist and one of the participants in the project. He says he has been hijacking billboards and turning them into poetry for several years. The Brandalism project was developed over the course of eight months and was launched along with a website and a catchy new name, which was borrowed from Banksy, the, UK, the UK's most infamous street artist. The project has already inspired other artists around the world to submit photos of their own attempts at brandalism. The group's website says the movement builds on the guerrilla art traditions of the 20th century and takes inspiration from the Dadaists, Situationists, and street art movements. A statement from the group reads, quote, we are tired of being shouted at by adverts on every street corner, so we decided to get together with some friends from around the world and start to take them back one billboard at a time. We're lab rats for ad execs who exploit our fears and insecurities through consumerism. I'm a human being, not a consumer. So by taking these billboards, we are taking these spaces back." End quote. The question remains, Will UK police erase these acts of brandalism? They have already threatened to paint over iconic works by Banksy, but they have not yet taken action.